Hello, I'm Irma Botvin. I'm here with Dr. Larry Berkelhammer. Dr. Berkelhammer has researched and created mindfulness-based practices to improve mastery and well-being. Hello again, Larry, and um, yeah. could you um, tell us about the relationship between using the mind for health, for physiological functioning, mm -hmm. and elaborate on some of the healthy and unhealthy effects. Yeah, yeah, I will. I'd like to tell you about the relationship between mind, well-being, physiologic functioning, and health. These are very, very connected. So I think most people are aware the mind has a profound effect on physiologic functioning and health. There are acute effects and chronic effects. Acute effects we don't need to worry about. We, we go through acute stressors throughout the day. Something happens, a few minutes later we've recovered. That's not going to affect our health. What we need to be concerned about is chronic stress and we need to do whatever is in our power to reduce chronic emotional distress because chronic emotional distress is very harmful to physiologic mm -hmm. functioning. It causes physiologic stress. Physiologic stress leads to disease, predisposes us to disease. So if we're exposed to a pathogen and we're, not, we're managing our stress, our emotional distress, we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. But if we're exposed to a pathogen and we're under chronic emotional distress, we're much more likely to get sick. So I want to talk about the healthy effects. We don't talk about that very much. We talk about di emotional distress. But I want to talk about the healthy effects of using the mind. Uh, which is the opposite of, of emotional distress. So self-efficacy uh, is, is part of this. So self-efficacy is simply knowing that I can handle whatever it is that I'm about to do. Um, mastery is the ability to manage a wide variety of daily life challenges. Well-being is the result of feeling, uh, that good feeling that comes from having mastery. It's the good feeling and physiologic benefits that result from having mastery. And, and some of the well-known people who've talked about this are Herb Benson, Deepak Chopra, Ellen Langer. I mean, there are, I could mention dozens of others, but those are some of the more well-known people. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Yeah.